hello you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new don't forget to subscribe and like comment and share my videos um, and if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask down below in the comment section or you could email me or follow me on social media love charms world and Twitter love charms world and also Instagram love charms world um, Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be answering some questions that you guys have been asking me. Stay tuned. So I've been getting a lot of questions being asked like, um, can you be pregnant and still be a flight attendant, your height, a certain weight, etc, etc. And I'm here to answer those questions today. So guys, the first question is, can you be pregnant and still be a flight attendant? The answer is yes. What? You could still fly while you're pregnant as long as the doctors approve it. You could work up to, I've seen people work up to eight months on or until their, it's their due date, which is nine months, of course still being pregnant. As long as your doctor is okay with it, then you have no problem. The next question is like, do you have to have a certain look to be a flight attendant? No, you do not. Okay, they don't look at that. They just want you to smile and be polite and nice to their passengers. That's all they want. And the next question is, do you have to be a certain weight? Um, this one is a little bit sticky because when I was um, doing, going through my interview process, um, unfortunately, a lot of people didn't get it because what they do is like during the interview process is when they, they take you into a room by yourself and then you have to sit in like a jump seat or something mimicking a jump seat and you have to be able to sit in it and still be able to buckle the seat belt so they so weight does play into being a flight attendant a certain weight sorry to say but some i've seen some airlines that um that i don't know it, i guess it all depends on the the aircraft or the um the, the company i'm not sure if all companies um do go by weight not sure but for this company that i work for we have small aircrafts and um you have to be able to sit in a jump seat and be able to um to buckle your seat but without having any issues so it all depends on the aircraft i don't want to give the wrong information and say yes it does weight has a factor but i'm not sure it all depends on the airline the next question do you have to be a certain height i would like to say yes again with the weight issue i'm not sure it all depends on the airline and the aircrafts with my airlines we have small aircrafts so you had to be at least i think six feet was the cutoff and i'm tall um six feet was the cutoff if it was a, a bigger airline then i don't think there would be an issue with the height but i do think height play a certain factor for a small for a short person you're you're gonna have to be able to reach because we they do during the process of hiring they you do do a reach test and if you have long arms and you're short and you can reach the overhead bins then you're good if not then i hate to say it but you might not get it because um they need you to be able to reach and sometimes they require you to not have heels on when doing a reach test again it all depends on the aircraft it all depends on the aircraft and it all depends on the airline the thing is a lot of people always ask me do you have to pay for the hotels when you lay over the answer is no it's in our contract you do not pay for hotels trust me if i had to pay for hotels i would not be here <laughs> 
I would not be here if I had to pay for hotels. The only thing is that you might have to pay for is meals. Some some um some hotels that we go to they do give free breakfast and some don't. So you would have to come out of pocket and spend your own money. In my vlogs I would show you like where like give free breakfast and where don't. Sometimes I'll show you guys that. Another thing that I wanted to talk about guys is some of you guys asked do you get paid while on training. Some airlines pay you for training and some airlines do not pay for training. So my advice to you be sure to research the company that you're going to be that you want to go for and see if they pay for training. If they don't, I encourage you to save money and before you go on the training. Some trainings they don't pay for training but they provide you with food and everything else. And some of them I do, I've heard that um, they give a loan while you're on training so that you could pay for your, um, your bills. And then during the process of when you get hired, they would take uh, some money out of your check to, to pay for that loan. Another thing is, um, what are some ways to save money? So being a flight attendant, sometimes it's hard for you to, especially when you don't have a line, it can be hard. Sometimes you could pack like food or cook food for the week and put away and then they don't call you. So then you're stuck there. So when you have a line, what you should do is just pack your meals. Like I bought this um, lunch bag. I bought this lunch bag. Guys, it could hold a lot. It's like a lot, a lot. It has so much compartments. Like, it's crazy. Pack a meal in there. Cook some food. Pack your meal. Um, and everything. To save money. Trust me. If you go on... Trust me. I'm telling you. When you go on these... um layovers and you spend spend money all the time Ugh. when you calculate all that money you're like what was i thinking back to um the whole baby situation can you have children while being a flight attendant yes what some of you guys fail to understand is like i remember like back in the day um being a flight attendant you had to be a nurse um you couldn't be married you're away for a long time you barely see your family all of that has changed all of that has changed trust me there's so many people here that has children there's ways that you could flex um there's way that you could do your schedule to to um still go home and be with your your kid you could do like out and backs which is which means um you pick up a trip to to go to Fort Myers and come back. You could be back by like, you could find flights that you could be back by like two, three o'clock in the day and you still get home to be with your kid. Still get to take up your kid. So anybody could be a flight attendant just as long as you have the personality, the smile, the heart and the drive to be a flight attendant. Um... Don't let anybody fool you that you can't be a flight attendant because, oh, you're not going to spend time with your family. Don't listen to that. Because trust me, there's a way for you to work your schedule and you can still be with your family and you can still travel and do what you love to do. Trust me, there's a lot of moms in this industry and there's ways for you to work your way around. So don't listen to people. Um... If you guys have any more questions, please don't hesitate to ask. If I didn't answer some of the questions correctly, please let me know and then I'll go over it. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my dream to be a vlogger. So I'm going to leave you guys with a quote that I wrote and it says sometimes it's your own negativity that's draining you and you need to get outside of your head in order to move forward with a positive spirit. Which means sometimes it's you, you're the one that's stopping your dreams and you're the one that's stopping you from moving forward in life.
and you have to get outside of your head in order to move forward with your life and live all the dreams that you said you want to dream okay so have a blessed day thank you guys so much for watching if you guys have any um questions or comments please you know comment down below or email me thanks you guys so much for watching thanks for your support and have a blessed day bye